Jesus. It is only the vision of God for your life that will stand this year. Therefore, let us take another prayer point. I want you to open your mouth and pray. Oh, Lord, bless me. Keep me. Cause your face to shine upon me and give me peace this year. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth. Wherever you are, begin to pray along with me. Oh, Lord, bless me. Keep me. Cause your face to shine upon me. Oh, Lord, bless me me keep me cause your face to shine upon me give me peace in this year give me peace in this year bless me lord keep me lord let your face shine upon me give me peace 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 bless me keep me let your face shine upon me in the name of jesus amen the Bible said that whatsoever we say to his ears, that is what he will do for us. So friends, I do not care the turbulence in your life. Because you prayed along me now, peace is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. You see, they wanted to cross over to the other side. And the waves of the sea became a challenge. When they woke him up, all he had to do was to speak to the waves. He said, peace, be still. And everything changed. I stand on the authority of that word. You that you're listening to this tape right now, you that you're watching this tape right now, I said that everything that is a challenge in your life, hear me and hear me now. I said, peace be still in that situation. Peace be still in that hope. Peace be still in her finances. Peace be still in his career. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because I know that you have done it. I want you to know That we wrestle not against flesh and blood. The Bible says we wrestle against principalities and powers. I want you to know that by strength shall no man prevail. He said to Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel, son, listen to me. It's not by power, it's not by might, it is by my spirit. So there are some battles in life you cannot just begin to fight on your own. You need the help of the Spirit to begin to fight. Hallelujah. So I am going to tell you what to do. In the book of First Chronicles chapter 20 verse 2, the prayer there and what later happened was for them to take over the crown of their enemies. Friends, if you successfully take over the crown of your enemy, that enemy is forever defeated by you. So you're going to open your mouth and pray. Oh Lord, give me the strength to take over the crown of my enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in this year, let me take over the crown of my enemies. Let me take over the crown of my enemies, no matter how many they are, arrayed against me. Lord, strengthen me to take over their crown in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me to take over their crown in the name of Jesus. Strengthen me, Lord, to take over their crown in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. He has not gathered the children of Jacob to seek him in vain. The Bible says, and they looked up to him, and their faces were enlightened, and they did not see shame. You cannot be looking up to God and remain in shame. It's not possible. But you see, life is a matter of choice. It is left for you to choose what you want. You either choose to live and live well, like a king which you are, or a queen which you are, or to remain under bondage. 
I want you to know that wisdom for this year is for you to be far from wrong associations. And at times you find out that you cannot do it by yourself. You need the help of the Spirit. So I need you to open your mouth and pray. Lord, deliver me from wrong associations. Deliver me from wrong associations, Lord. Deliver me from every wrong association. Deliver me, Lord, from every wrong association. Deliver me, Lord, from every wrong association. In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible said, as far as your eyes can see, that is what I'm going to give to you. We have a lot of men and women around today that lack vision. They don't know what they want in life. They don't know what they want to achieve. They don't even know what God should do for them. For you to effectively take over, you need to have a vision. If you don't have a vision of where you're going, friend, you're going nowhere. But we are going to pray. Because lack of vision is the devil's strategy to stop destinies. So you will open your mouth and pray right now. Lord, every arrangement of the devil against my vision. Father, help me. Restore my vision, O oh Lord. Restore my vision and give me grace to accomplish it. In the name of Jesus. Restore my vision, Lord. Give me grace to accomplish vision. In the name of Jesus, every arrangement of the devil against my vision, I stand on the authority of the word of God. I say it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. I must fulfill vision. I must accomplish vision. In the name of Jesus. Friends, congratulations. It is done. This is our first edition of Pray Along. I want to encourage you once more that as you begin to get the testimonies, just log on to Facebook slash Evangelist Uloma OJ and you'll be able to follow us. And just come to my wall and type in your testimony. And the Lord will continually bless you. Right now, before I leave, I would want to say a word of prophecy into your life. Because whether the devil likes it or not, you will get to where you're going to. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, before I begin to prophesy into their lives, for everyone that will ever pick up this tape and begin to pray along King of Glory, with this prayer points that has been dished out. Lord, may their life never remain the same. May purchasing the tape and listening to it be an evidence that they have entered into a covenant of a rising profile. That from that day onwards, they will begin to get better and better every day in every way. Let them enter into the realm of their blessings. Throughout this year, let them walk in triumph in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything around them this year shall speak glory. Father, Lord, they will be divinely connected. They will be favored. They will be talented. Divine wisdom shall be their portion. They will manifest in every area of their life. Goodness and mercy will answer to them. They will be receiving good measure, pressed down, shaking together, and running over. 
glory shall be defined by their life. They shall be clothed with glory. They will turn to lenders. They will not be borrowers. There will be answers, solutions to people's problems in the name of Jesus. They shall return at the end of this year in 10,000 fold increase. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will experience the reality of the Godhead. In the mighty name of Jesus, their year and month shall be filled with laughter. They will be celebrated. They will be in this year's honors list. In the mighty name of Jesus, whatsoever they set their hands to do, it shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I bless you. I worship you. I give you all the glory. Testimonies will not depart from their house. When they call upon you, you will answer them. Oh, thank you, Father. Anything that will not let them go, will go for them even in this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, Abba Father. In Jesus' most wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Once again, I want to appreciate you. I want you to know that serving Jesus is not an infirmity. Jesus is the latest thing in time. If you can associate yourself with Jesus, Glory will remain in your house. But friends, I also want you to know that Jesus is not committed to doing anything for you until you associate with him. So if you're listening to the sound of my voice right now and you have not given your life to Christ, I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Give your life to Christ because it is only when you give your life to Christ that you will be able to enjoy the benefits of loving Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, I am sorry. I've been a sinner. I want to give my life to you. Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, come take over everything that concerns me. Take over my life. Give me the grace to continually love you until you come in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' most worthy name, we pray. Amen. If you pray this prayer with me, congratulations. Because successfully, you have given your life to Jesus. I want to be the first person to welcome you into the fold. I want you to know that you will not regret giving your life to Jesus Christ. This is the beginning of good things in your life, in the mighty name of Jesus. I am, once again, Evangelist Oloma Oje, the president and founder of Financial Giants Fellowship, an interdenominational fellowship that is all around the country, even outside the country. If you log on to our website and check, and you don't have any FGF branch or chapter around you, you can simply email or text us, or, or follow us on Facebook and tell us on my page, and we'll know how to bring an FGF chapter around you. In FGF, the vision is to advertise Jesus. All we do is spread the word around. Just tell someone, Jesus must be famous. And since we started doing it, we have not regretted it for one day. It has been from one level of glory to another level of glory. For every member of FGF, they are in a definite covenant called the covenant of a rising profile. You cannot be a member of FGF and remain where you are. No, you will just enter into the path of the just, which shines brighter and brighter until the day our Lord comes for us. You are blessed and highly favored. Amen.